Hi, I'm Nicole, and uh, I am the author of Living Life Keto blog website, and I am going to show you how to make bulletproof coffee today. There are many versions of bulletproof coffee, but this is the one that I particularly like the best. Um, sorry, the video isn't great. I am not a videographer, but um, you can use an immersion blender, but I like to use my Nutribullet standard cup. There's the cap. My Keurig machine is in the background. Pretty simple. In the original picture, it had the ingredients. I used one tablespoon of Viva MCT oil. It came really highly rated, so it's organic. That's what more look for. A tablespoon of your MCT oil. Heavy whipping cream, staple of every keto fridge. One tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Stevia, sweet leaf drops. These are cinnamon. I, there's all different flavors. I like cinnamon. I use about a half a dropper. You can really use any sweetener you want. I prefer stevia in my coffee. It takes the, the bitter taste out of the stevia and it adds a nice flavor. The cinnamon I use is organic Ceylon cinnamon as opposed to the cassia cinnamon. It's better for you. It's got more of the health benefits. The uh, cassia cinnamon is more widely available, cheaper, and really doesn't do what the Ceylon cinnamon does for you. I'll have a separate post about that uh, on the blog. And of course, Kerrygold butter. I use salted butter. Some people use unsalted butter. I personally can't taste the salt in it. So it's about a tablespoon. I cube it up just so it mixes up a little better. And that's really it. I pop it in my Keurig. I'm using pumpkin spice flavored coffee. Pop it in for a cup of coffee. You could use any coffee you like. Be careful with the flavored coffees though. I always scan them into my fitness pal because some of them are made by dipping the beans in sugar for their flavor. I know that from a good friend of mine who works in the coffee industry. So I always scan, you know, the barcode on the packages. Green Mountains flavored coffees don't have any carbs in them. I've had no coffee so far. So. Those are pretty safe. Um, most of the ones I have in my cabinet are pretty safe. But again, you want to keep an eye out for those creeper cards, you like to call them. And you might hear my son watching Looney Tunes in the background. It was the only way I could get a moment to actually make the video and get a cup of coffee. Anybody who has a toddler knows what a challenge that can be. The coffee's finishing up now. Grab it, put your little lid on. Like I said, you can use an immersion blender. You can really use anything. I've found this to be very easy to use, user friendly. I shake it around just because sometimes the cinnamon sticks to the sides. Pop it on there for about 30 seconds or so. Not even really 10 to 10 seconds. That's good. I would have to watch the video to see what time elapsed. The heat from the drink makes it a little, little bit of a suction, so sometimes it's tricky to get the top off. And it is, I put this up against the Starbucks latte any day. I always spin the bottom, stir it up a little bit because sometimes the cinnamon will settle. So if you give it a couple good spins, There you go, and there you have bulletproof coffee, frothy, delicious, creamy, like a meal in a cup.
thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, drop a comment, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Have a great day.